There's just an age-old saying, isn't there? What can one man do? And then you look around and you see that we are in Brazil. And you just think it's one man who brought it all here. Tony Gavancini is one of the most incredible stories in racing because he came over to Europe as a young man with about a $5,000 contract to last in a season. He lived out of a car. He said it better on Instagram than I think I could ever put. He had to go to Europe to become relevant so Europe could come back to him. It's not just about a, a bike race, you know, this means uh, the, the whole walk of my, of my life so far. Honestly, only people on site, they're going to feel it. Uh, so you can, you can describe it, you're going to feel it. We have like a great chance to show how much passion we have for this sport, uh, how much we, we are into mountain bike racing and it's going to be shocking to everyone. Brazilian fans, they are amazing. Uh, they must really love the sport. They check uh, how we do the course practice. They cheer every rider on. They are super happy whenever you make a jump. So yeah, it's just fun to ride. All eyes on the start now. We're about to get things going in Petropolis. Here we go, 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 go. The first cross country Olympic is on the way. This is dangerous, even in these early stages. Rebecca McConnell there in second place. Conterpstra goes to do another 10 seconds back. Fourth and fifth place there, those two at the moment then. Everyone chasing Luan Lecopno. A broken collarbone. Looks like she's put that well and truly behind her now. Ride my tempo. That gap looks to be getting bigger. As long as she's efficient for Rebecca McCollum, it will help her a lot. Now follow. But Lecomte absolutely on a mission today. 30 seconds now from Lecomte to McConnell. Yeah, Terpster really starting to gain on Rebecca. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And this is how quickly we saw uh, yeah, no. Pauline Ferran Provo have a few problems there. Once you get offline, it's hard to get going again. These shoes are not made for walking. And now, Terpstra ahead of Rebecca McConnell for the first time. And McConnell determined to stay on Terpstra's wheel here and doing it so far. Terpstra driving this one forwards now. So, Terpstra is now on Luan Lecomte. Rebecca McConnell there as well. Great atmosphere here, as we knew it would be in Brazil. So many fans, so much noise. Look at this then. Wow. Great ride for this young Austrian rider at the moment. Sat there in fourth place, Laura Stigger. So Rebecca McCall was overtaking the line of the court. So she's now second place. Want to go and they cross the line. crazy I am um, coming down that hill into the finish I'm like what the f is happening sorry about my language it's just yeah um yeah uh, carry on <laughs> a great ride for our terms to second place for her today Luan Lecomte still a great ride in the third place and this is the two Austrian riders Milwana can't respond and stick is gonna get this fourth place finish today a podium spot for Mitterwalder as well, I mean. 20 years old, wow. 
I was so chuffed for Beck McConnell. She has been chasing that first World Cup win her entire career. These moments when it just all pays off in front of a crowd and that just, it all came together for Beck today and it's, it's warmed my heart. Who knows what's going to happen in the men's race? The week has just been building and building to this moment. I mean, the tension in the air, you can cut it with a knife, but like, look at this. Henry, I don't know if you watch these highlights, but please just remember what you have done here today. It's so much more than just a race. Drop it. Go, 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 go in Brazil. Olé, olé, olé. Look at the pace of these riders on this climb. Listen to the crowd when they see Henry Cavancini. It must be so hard for him to ride his own race today. It's a real fight at the front, actually. I'm surprised. Well, I haven't seen you looking pretty comfortable throwing the bike around off the drop. Nino now leading the race for the first time. And the next World Cup that Nino Scherter wins will see him equal the record of Julian Absalon. All-time wins record of World Cup races. Julian Absalon has 33 of them. Yep, you heard me right. Nino Scherter, 32 at the moment. As a, let's say, mechanic of Nino Scherter for almost 10 years, you kind of know almost everything and uh, it looks good. But it's been three years since he won a World Cup race. Now a small gap behind Vladaskli to Avancini, together with Alan Hadley. That gap is getting bigger. But Marot is definitely feeling good. He's turning the screw. Scherter going with him. Daskulu as well. <laughs> Avancini unable, it looks, Bart, to run with the pace of these top three today. Marot, no World Cup cross-country wins for him yet. Will today be his day? Last lap then, here we go. Unbelievable. Marot then, where's he found this energy from? What's it going to come down to, Bart? Experience or legs today? Oh, I mean, that last little climb before the last corner to the finish line, it's still legs, I would say. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, we will see. Maxim Marat looks also really strong. And Vlad, maybe they will arrive at sprint because they are not able to do the difference right now. Yeah. Here they come. Look at the crowd. Here in Brazil, they've been treated to an incredible race. It will be a long sprint. Nino is always good at sprints, right? The sprint will be at the top of the climb, but not on the start and the finish line, I think. And here we go then. Nino Scherz starting to wind it up. Oh, they're going with him though. Marat and Daskulus right on his wheel as well. And then I knew this last uphill, it's going to be all out. Oh, it's all out from Nino Scherzer. I gave everything, but Maxim passed me, and I was like, oh, no. Marat taking the lead. I don't believe it. Marat leads into this last turn, just as the set to come now. Can he overtake him? And then I knew it's still a long, it's a long uh, finish line. And if you get into the draft, it's going to be hard for the front one. Maxi Marot looked in so much trouble a couple of laps ago. Here comes Maxi Marot straight over the line. Shell trying to go with him. Daskal has got nothing. Here they come. Who's it going to be? nicer to win actually races. That close when you know you had to battle really hard to the last meter. Uh, that's actually the, the sweetest victories and uh, yeah, that's one, uh, one I will uh, keep forever. I feel good today and again I finished second so yeah. It's a nice place. In a way I, should be, I must be happy but in another way uh, I'm still chasing my first win so I was again so close and uh, Sorry, I'm a bit pissed off. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, it took me now three years for this 33rd World Cup uh, victory. And uh, yeah, today was special. First World Cup in a crazy atmosphere. And it's, it's really nice to, to take this 33rd win here. This 
place. Look at this crowd. Look at this atmosphere. We have made a little bit of history here in Brazil today. Not just one man, but two. Nino Schurter finally recording that 33rd World Cup win, equaling Julian Absalom's record. And oh my gosh, wasn't it a long time coming? I'm so, so chuffed for his team and for him. And I've never seen more emotional scenes at a World Cup race finish line. And then Henrik Avancini, he might not have run the race, but he has made this. Look at this. He's definitely a winner in my eyes. Oh, 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 oh.